Hello everyone. Today I want to do a video on the new Technicolor um, mode, which is available with uh, SDR content and also HDR content. Um, right now, as you're seeing the screen, it's put to uh, Technicolor Expert, uh, which is the new picture mode which came with the uh, LG firmware update, um, which just just came in recently. Um, so far I've been toggling around between um, cinema mode, which was my default up to until now, and Technicolor Expert mode. And to be very honest, in high frame rate videos where there seems to be little, little motion processing uh, from TV itself in cinema mode, um, there's essentially no difference between uh, Technicolor expert mode and cinema mode. Uh, in this video, it's called Bioscope uh, because I'm uh, I'm a Dutch native, obviously. Um, so in high frame rate videos like this, uh, which is filmed, uh, this video is filmed at 60 FPS. There's no difference between um, the cinema mode and the Technicolor expert mode. So. Um, if you're going to look at yeah mostly demo footage or um, maybe even Apple TV uh, 4K um, movies, there's not that much difference, and you likely won't notice this um, the new mode which OG has put on this television. Um, I did have high expectations from it, but yeah it's it's not that much different um, the difference mostly comes when you start watching videos which are made in a lower in a lower frame rate like this one um, let's just watch uh, unbox therapy video because it's mostly those videos which you'll start noticing that um, there seems to be a difference between uh, cinema mode and Technicolor mode mostly because Technicolor mode seems to um, shut off all the motion, motion processing um, what happens is instead of um, the smoothening which the TV usually applies um, it actually hangs on to its original frame rate and now I can immediately see that it's put in Technicolor mode because um, it seems more, yeah, how do you say, either, you can say either more movie-like or more jittering. The thing is with, um, with cinema mode, you have still, you have motion processing, which makes the image look smoother. And especially with um, content which isn't, yeah, how can I say it, acted out, it seems like it's more jittery. Whereas with um, movies, it actually gives it more this movie-like feel. So when watching, for example, broadcast content or um, or YouTube content um, with more uh, non-acted, well, non-acted uh, series or videos, you really notice that the motion is a lot more choppy. Um, Whereas, uh, me personally at least, uh, uh, I'm more a fan of the soap opera effect or the motion smoothing which the TV can apply and which the TV actually still applies in, uh, in cinema mode as you can see um, here. So here for me, um, I'm not sure if this, fil if this uh, video is filmed is 60 FPS. But the motion seems a lot smoother and it's actually the Technicolor mode which made me realize that um, the TV actually still inputs a lot of smoothening to actually smooth the motion over. And so far I've actually enjoyed this. Um, I'm, not a, I'm actually a pretty big fan of smoothening videos, especially if they're, um, if they're not um, meant to be acted out or something. So some videos don't need that movie like um, movie like experience which um, native 24 fps will give you uh, videos like this which are more uh, um, 
to give you information about products uh, or even some broadcast TV like reality shows or uh, news programs usually in my opinion benefit more from the motion smoothing so uh, for movies the technical mode could, could be okay you know it could give you more this uh, movie like experience because because I do have feeling that the technical mode simply picks the native frame rate um, I'm not sure if this is correct but from what I'm seeing it picks a native frame rate because now in technical mode um, motion seems a lot more jittery um, I can't say it's it simply looks more movie like it has this movie like feel over it whereas um, cinema mode actually does keep the motion smoothening intact so it gives you a smoother image which I personally am more a fan of uh, with uh, non-acted content like this for example uh, aside from that there there are virtually no differences between cinema mode and um, in technicolor mode right now we're in cinema mode and um, in my opinion it mostly comes down to whether you're into that more than movie like view which Technicolor mode does give you, uh, if you put it in Technicolor mode, it instantly feels more like a movie than, um, than yeah, just a video showcasing something, it gets this movie effect. Um, but the cinema mode, it gets more lifelike, it gets more real, and me personally, I'm actually more a fan of that, so... Um, it really comes down to yourself if you're more into um, more into movie-like content or more realism, which, in my opinion, the, mo uh, the smoothing motion effects uh, does contribute to. So the motion, the smoothing of motion, actually gives the video a more realistic feel, which, in my opinion, is desirable, especially with content uh, like I said before, which is non-acted. So it's actually just a real person explaining you about either a product or just a documentary or something else. I think uh, motion smoothing actually um, really does give an extra edge in that type of content. Obviously with movie-like content, uh, the Technicolor uh, mode does give a more movie-like feel, which is preferred by a lot of people, uh, including me. So when much watching movies, you could actually consider putting it in technical mode. In terms of differences in color um, and presentation of the footage itself, aside from the frame rate, there's no difference. I've watched tons and tons of content so far. High quality content, high frame rate, low frame rate, um, HDR, non-HDR, and actually Critically looking at it, I couldn't notice any difference between this and cinema mode. They are, they're so equal, so um, you could say that OG did a pretty good job on the cinema mode on this television set. So um, the technical mode is, I think, uh, better suited for actually changing uh, or actually turning off the motion smoothing which the TV applies. So... Um, that was my video on the new technical mode. Uh, personally, I will mostly put it into cinema mode um, unless watching movies because uh, I do actually like the I like the motion smoothing turned off when watching movies. It gives a more yeah movie-like feel. But for all other content, I will most likely actually keep the motion smoothing on and the cinema mode on and in terms of better picture quality or better coloring of the image there's no difference in my opinion between um, <coughs> between the technicolor mode and cinema mode so there you have it <laughs> thanks for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.